Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at querying databases um, in Android Java. So um, at the moment, so far, um, I've, I've created this database class for handling all my database stuff which extends the SQLite Open Helper and it's got this method store points which can store um, the, the list of points that we pass to it or you know you could store anything in here of course strings or text or whatever you like and uh, we've, we've provided this um, we've overridden uh, actually we've implemented the SQLite open helper method because this is an abstract class um, on create and in there we put some code to create the database and that will be called automatically when we do something like calling get writable database so we, once we've implemented that, we don't have to worry about calling it anywhere. We just go ahead and use the database, which is really nice. And now I'm going to add a method for retrieving the data from the database. And then we can have a look at it and see that it really has been stored. So I'm going to call this public. Um, it's going to return a list of points since that's what I'm, that's what my database deals with in this case. And um, I'll call it get points. And uh, let's just add the import there for um, list. And I'm going to, here, I'm going to have a list of points that I'm going to return. Let's call it points and set that equal to a new array list of point objects. This is Android point objects, 2D points. And uh, to, we've seen that to write to the database, you need to call get writable database. Um, and that's a method, of course, of the um, SQLite Open Helper class. And that enables you to do stuff like deleting stuff from the database and inserting stuff into the database or, of course, updating it. And in this case, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to query the database. So I'm going to call get readable database. And that returns, uh, once again, a SQLite database object. So I'll type SQLite database uh, db equals and so I don't forget I'm going to call db.close already and in between there I'm going to have some code that queries the database so um, I need some code to query the database with and I'm going to say string SQL equals string.format because um, here I'm going to want to use some column names although in fact probably only one column comes to think of it but I'm going to have in here select um, select star from uh, and now I need the table name percent s I'll put for the moment select star from uh, percent s and let's have order by percent s and that's going to be another column and the columns here, well, the things that I'm going to substitute here are going to be the table name. I have my, um, my, I have my constant defined up here, points table. So let's specify that for the table name and points table. And for the last argument, the one that I want to order by, that's going to be my ideal ID column. So I'm going to use this call ID, um, static string here. So call ID. There we go. So that's going to select all the columns from my database ordered by their ID. So I should get I should get the points in the order that they're entered since I was incrementing the ID starting at zero um, every time I added a point. And um, now in the middle here, so I'm going to say um, db dot um, um, db dot raw query and I'm going to pass in the SQL there and the um, selection args here I'm I'm going to set to null like this and that actually returns a cursor so I'm going to say cursor cursor equals db dot raw query passing my SQL Let's add the import there with Control Shift and O. And now I can say um, while K 
cursor dot move to next move um, cursor dot move to next there we go so uh, let's just expand the editor so the idea is that you have this cursor which kind of points at the latest result and uh, when you first do the query the cursor points before the first result so you call move to next to point it to the, um, to the first row that you want to retrieve and then you keep calling move to next to move to the next row and the next and so on and every time I do this I want to re retrieve um, some values so I want to say um, cursor dot get and the values that I've stored in my uh, database are are all going to be actually um, integers so I'm going to say get int and the column indexes here um, are zero based so um, I'm going to type zero and that should get me uh, my x coordinate int x equals and um, then I'm going to say um, y here and that will be column one and in fact it, it may even be, maybe it's clearer here if I actually use um, the actual column names here which I certainly could do so I could put uh, col x and col col y col y where are we like this okay so um, that's the first column I'm retrieving, then the second column, and that corresponds to index zero and ind index one. And once I've created, once I've got that inf that data back, I'm going to say points. Um, so I'm just going to add that to my list of points that I want to return. And say points dot add new point x comma y. And then finally, I uh, of course close the database down here, and then I can return my array list of points. Now to check that this works, um, I'm going to go to image activity here and when I've got four points this code is invoked you may recall and I store the points in my database and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say db.get um, points so I'm going to call that method that I just uh, just retrieved, that I just um, defined the method that I just wrote and I'm going to say here um, list um, in fact um, yeah I don't I don't have any list of points in here defined so I'll call it points list point I was just wondering if this name would conflict with something I already had but of course it doesn't because that's in a different class list point um, list of point objects points equals db dot get points and um, let's see what the error is here duplicate local variable points oh yeah um, I was wrong, it conflicts with this variable here, I was completely forgetting. Well let's call this um, something different, I'll just call it list for the moment. This is temporary code that we're going to get rid of later so I won't worry too much. And let's say four point points in list. I just want to have a check that this works and I'm going to say here log.d and um, main activity dot debug tag and the message here I'm going to have string.format and I'm just going to say in here got point and percent uh, d percent d and let's pass in for the arguments here um, let's pass in uh, point.x and point.y referring to the, the point here, this variable here. I'll just do control shift f to format that a bit and that looks okay and now so if, if all this works what should happen is when I click four points on my image it invokes this code here and then it will store the points um, and then then it will retrieve them immediately and display them in the debug in the log cap debug output and the methods that I'm calling are the ones that I've defined in my database class here store points and get points so let's just check that, let's uh, minimise this editor and click run to run it and again we could easily have errors because um, it is hard to write code like this and get every little detail right first time but we'll see. 
and so it's uploading and I'm going to go in a minute to DDMS so that I can see my debug output installing and let's hope we see success there we see success I'll go to DDMS and I'll clear the output here and um, go to my em emulator get rid of this dialog which is not normally going to appear it's just um, here because I'm building the screen that stores the points for the moment I'll click four points and when I click the fourth it stores them in my database and fairly quickly it retrieves them again and tells me what they were so this code seems to be working and um, that's it for the moment so I think that's all the database stuff we need just for a minute but I'm going to refine this a bit more because um, at the moment the database code is executing in the main GUI thread and potentially holding it up and for that reason we're going to move on to look at um, running uh, asynchronous processes so uh, join me again next time and until then happy coding